Hey guys, how's it going? It's Jay from Sony Alpha Lab, and what I got for you in this video is the new Sony shooting grip. Now, basically what this is, it's a wireless, it wirelessly connects to select Sony cameras that have Bluetooth capability, and you, it's, it's just an awesome grip. You can basically then hold the camera with the grip, and I'll show you that in a second when I show you how to set it up, and it just has all that functionality built into it. It's got a zoom, it's got the video record button, it has the shutter release button for taking photos, and it also has a custom one button and a lock toggle so settings don't accidentally get changed. In addition, this thing turns into a little tripod so you can put it on a table and hold your camera and talk to it or something like that if you like to do that. And then the top adjusts so you can get any angle and uh, it's very comfortable in the hand as well. It actually goes for about $140 US, and I used this with the Sony ZV-1, and I honestly can't recommend it enough. It's a really phenomenal product. It is kind of pricey at $140, but in my opinion, it's totally worth the money. If I had the Sony ZV-1 and I was walking around doing vlogging type stuff, I would absolutely buy this. And you can use it with obviously any camera that Sony makes that has Bluetooth abilities. But basically, it's just a cool shooting grip that makes it easier to just walk along holding the camera and, you know, take video or take photos. It's, it's just easier than holding, you know, the camera itself in some cases. When you're just holding it like this, when you have the grip in your hand, it's just much easier in a lot of cases. So let's get into the lab here and I'll show you how to set this up and I'll show you exactly how it works. But I can tell you... I highly recommend it and it's definitely worth the money if you're somebody that's awkwardly holding the camera and you want more control and better ease of use and a mini built-in tabletop tripod which is super convenient if you're talking to the camera or doing interviews or anything like that. So let's just get right into it. Taking a closer look here, this is what the unit looks like and again it's very small and compact and lightweight. Really doesn't weigh much at all and if you look at it from the back side here this is where the battery goes and that's the first thing you're going to need to do is put the battery in because this does communicate with the camera via Bluetooth so there's this little lock lever here you got to slide over and then you can slide this lever down and that will pop the cover off like so and that's where the battery goes so just slide the battery in there it goes with the positive facing upward and you could see there's a little plus there on the top of the battery it's that circle style battery that looks kind of like a quarter. So you pop that in there like so, and then you can just put the cap back on, and then this unit is ready to go. And now it's ready to set up with your camera. So like I said, it has this cool tripod feature built in, which is just awesome. It's very just useful, and it actually has these little rubber things on the feet right here, so it doesn't slip. The old model that I used of this, I can't remember what the model is off the top of my head, but it did not have rubber feet on it, and it basically was much easier to slide around. But with the rubber feet, you can definitely have more confidence that it's not gonna slide off a rock or a railing or whatever you might be putting it on. So that's definitely worth noting. And it has a nice texture to it, like so it's easy to hold on to. It also has, when you close it down like this, it has like this nub here. You see that nub? So you can kind of really get your, your finger underneath that nub and, and hold it like, a, like with confidence. You know, it just feels really good in the hand. And then you can basically touch these dials and buttons with ease while you're recording or walking. It really is a nice design, I, I just have to say. Sony did an excellent job on this particular accessory. There's just no doubt about it. It's really well thought out and it's definitely evolved from the previous versions. There's just no doubt about it. Now to avoid any confusion, this is the GPVP T2BT shooting grip remote commander. That's uh, wireless, just you know, just to be clear. Now this tips the scales at 7.6 ounces or 215 grams. It's pretty much made of plastic. It's got a quarter inch thread here on the top, which is basically what you know on the bottom of the camera. That's what pretty much all the cameras have. The load capacity for this is 3.3 pounds or 1.5 kilograms. So you can't put anything massive on the top of this, but you can use pretty much all the mirrorless cameras with a reasonable lens. All the point and shoot cameras like the RX 100s, you can use the RX 10s. I really wouldn't go much heavier than like two and a half pounds or something like that. Cause at that point you might as well just invest 
in a gimbal or something more heavy duty, some kind of other rig solution. So let me show you how you set this up. So what I'm gonna do is, so I'm gonna put the Sony ZV-1 here, which is what I got. I'm currently reviewing this camera. Stay tuned for the full review, it's coming soon. Basically you just thread it onto the mount on the bottom, like so. And you just turn the threads on this little thing here. It's got like a, a thread right here. You can see the thread and it shows up on both sides. So you can tighten it from both sides like so. And then at that point, you can set the tripod up planter down and then there's a button here on the side of this unit right here see that button it's got that button and then on this side is a lock wheel so if you hit this button you can basically move the camera now and if you let go of the button it's gonna lock see that you can move it wherever you want and then lock it accordingly I'm just gonna loosen that and get it nice and centered like so alright so what we need to do now is we need to connect this remote commander wireless shooting grip to the Sony ZV-1. Now, let me show you how to do that. It's really, really easy. And basically what you gotta do is you just turn the camera on. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into the menu system. So I'm just gonna click the menu button here. All right, so in the menu system, we're just gonna scroll up to the top tabs and we're gonna go over to the network area. And then once we get into the network area, we're gonna scroll down and we're gonna go to the right and we're gonna click down on Bluetooth settings. So go into the Bluetooth settings and you're going to want to turn those settings on. They're set by set to off by default. So let's turn that on. All right, so what we're going to do next is we are going to pair this device. So you're going to click on the pairing button here, like so. So notice you have the photo button and then you have the zoom, telephoto and wide angle. Telephoto is on the top and photo is here. So what you need to do is you need to hold the photo button and the top zoom button, telephoto side. Just hold that down and it will then communicate with the camera and it should pair. And there it is. Now I'm gonna click the OK, just like so. And it's pairing the device. So now it's paired. Click OK, we're good to go. Now I'm just gonna hit the menu button to go back. And then I'm gonna click on Bluetooth remote control. And you wanna turn that on, like so. So that's basically how you set it up. So now you can basically zoom in and out like so. You can hit the record button to start recording a video. And then C1 is going to be programmed to C1 on top of the camera, which in the case of this camera is the background defocus feature, which is actually perfect for vlogging and so forth. All right, so another thing I wanted to show you is this button right here there is a button. If you press that button, it allows you to quickly rotate the camera like so. See that? This is one of the coolest features ever because you don't have to unscrew this and rotate the camera and then tighten the screw again. Sony incorporated this button. So you can turn this into a selfie stick, basically scenario, really easy and just rotate the camera towards you. And now you have a selfie setup and you can also lock this using this lock wheel, by the way depending on how you have the angle set. So you can adjust the angle how you want it. It'll lock automatically, but then you can tighten this down so it doesn't accidentally unlock if you were to hit the button on the side. You know what I mean? So that's basically how this thing works. It's like I said, it's very basic. It's not rocket science. You can lock it here to avoid settings from being changed. And like I said, this button here will allow you to quickly turn the camera around without having to unscrew it from the mount, which is just so cool. Got to be the coolest upgrade compared to the previous model of this unit that I used probably like a year or two ago on one of the other RX100 cameras. So for the money, it's a really great option. It is a little bit pricey, but it does perform and it, the build quality is excellent and the functionality is, is really good. It just in the real world, this product does exactly what it's designed to do. And as you can see from some of the sample footage I'm showing you, I used it hiking and I had a great time with it. I also used it for a lot of time-lapse photos. I just used a little built-in tripod here and I got a lot of great footage in a variety of situations. And it's very easy to just leave the camera mounted to this and throw it right in the camera bag. I actually had it in my camera bag. I just folded the legs in and put it right in there. And it basically took up the same amount of room as like a mirrorless camera with a lens, but doesn't really weigh much. That is about it for this quick review on the GPVP T2BT wireless remote commander shooting grip 
from Sony. So if you guys have any questions, please be sure to ask me below in the comments area and in the description area below the video as well will be links to this grip if you're interested in checking it out. Check the current prices on it right now. It's going for 138 US on BH Photo. I highly recommend checking it out there. Based on my experience, I really enjoyed using this and I would absolutely buy this if I had an RX100 series camera or the new Sony ZV-1. Anything that's lightweight, this is a really, really good accessory and it just makes it much easier to hold the camera, especially when the camera is ultra compact like this. I will catch up with you guys next time and please have a great day.